Whew, I had to take a little break from doing my workout because I am tired, okay? But then also I've been crying a lot, like a lot of weeping, a lot of crying. And I don't like crying. I've been crying about four or five times. Um, and they're not bad tears. They just like feel like cleansing tears. I'm um, just crying a lot. And I'm ready to get back up on the market. I think that's what I'm crying for. Um, I'm ready to have a man. Companionship and then some nice dick as well. Humor. Good food. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have been single for eight and a half years. And I've been a mom going on 12 years. And so I'm reading, reaching a point where my oldest is in that pre-adolescent stage. They start getting that teenage stage. The girls are getting older. So they're getting sassy, okay? <laughs> I mean, they got good traits, but you know, some of the other traits is coming out, which is fine. But this is the time where it's important to have companionships. So you can have somebody, oh my God, what is that? You can have somebody to talk to and then to make love and stuff like that. So I have not been putting myself out there. I'm stuck putting myself out there in certain spaces. Maybe go to a few jazz clubs. I don't drink, okay, anymore. I don't smoke anymore, but I can still, I know how to have fun and to cut loose. Um, I like good food, okay, all right? Um, maybe I can go on like a few like exercise dates. I think that would be fun. Um, we could go for like walking or something like that. Um, uh, something like that. That'd be like an exercise date going biking, something like that. So I think I'm ready for a little friend friend. I've been crying a lot. Um, normally I don't like crying. Okay. Now, of course, when I have my children, I cry tears of joy and stuff like that. Somebody passed away. I cry. I rarely cry, but I have been crying up a storm guys. I just got done crying just, just a minute ago. Just crying, crying, crying. My kids are getting older, and I'm just crying because it's like they were just babies. Now, they're older, okay? And I have to, you have to have a certain different level of strength when you're raising kids when they get older. Now, when they're younger and cuddly and cute, I'm there. Like most women will be like, I didn't get no sleep when I had babies. I got very good sleep. My babies slept through the night. Sometimes they would wake up. Very good babies. I would get them oatmeal bath and baby massage i did uh foot reflexology on their feet and i played um frequencies so they can go to sleep like i was really on it and i'm by the grace of god i'm grateful for those um opportunities in those times so i was loved it and then when they got a little older you can dress them up and stuff like that when they start getting older and of course their personality starts forming they may act like people in the family or of course also like their dads which is fine you know their dads are not evil um it takes a different level of strength that you have to have. And I believe that's why it's important. Uh, you can use this as a cautionary tale. It is important to have your children within the confines, in my opinion, of marriage. Because when you do that, um, it's kind of like you have different strengths in different seasons. So if I have, you know, strengths in the seasons of babyhood to toddler age to, you know, up to about nine years old, the man, I think, will be able to take over more so for the disciplinary and the shaping of the identity. So it's kind of a little bit more. I have to pull on, like, uncles, and um, I'll listen to messages and pull on messages of things that the men are sending those messages. I'm not going to say who I listen to because, you know, the, you know, you, you, okay? But I do pull on certain um, knowledge and wisdom from them because the thing is men are needed for leadership, especially in the home. Because they say at one time and the kids listen at this age. They don't listen to me at this age. No more. They want to listen to a man. So am I saying, oh, I need to get a man to help me with them kids? No. Um, I do need one for um, companionship. And then as I'm getting, we're going to learn each other, we start liking each other, I will ask for their advice. Um, are they going to be around my kids? Hell no. Nah. My kids have not been around anybody other than their uncles and their pappies. Grand grandfather, like people in the family. And rarely that because I don't go around them as much. Okay. So they didn't see me by myself. So I've been asking them and talking to them, like, how would you feel if mommy had a boyfriend? You're not going to see him, but you might hear me going on dates. And so they kind of okay with the idea. I don't, some of them, I don't think they really get it. They like, because they never see me with one. So I think it's important, and that way I could be able to kind of pull on some wisdom from a man to learn about how to raise a young man. Um, and... I think that would be good. And then it's also good for me as well, emotionally and then physically, sexually. I have sexual needs. And then I also have emotional needs that I deserve to have be met. Um, and that's what I really look for in a man, okay? Most women look for money. And it's been lies that said that I look for money, which I don't. I look for humor. I look for wisdom. 
of course, you have to be physically attractive to me. To me. I'm not saying everybody else. And then, you know, you got to be packing a little bit. You be, I'm just being honest. I'm a big woman. I like big things. All right. But no, seriously, somebody I can like, like now, it'd be good if I could lay in a man's lap and cry. I used to do that when I was in a relationship. You know what I mean? Because I get like vulnerable seasons for whatever reason going into the fall and. I don't know, like at the beginning of the summer, the spring. I don't know what it is. I just start getting really vulnerable. It was like cleansing, crying. I feel really, really sensitive. Like, almost like I'm on my period all the time. I don't know if my hormones is off. I don't know, but I always get like this. So, and I like getting like this. I like it. I think it's a good balance. Most people see me as resting bitch face just, you know, and I like to do that. It's not a mask. That's just something I normally, is my mode but I do like to show my I feel like soft in my vulnerable side and then um crying crying a lot you know crying is good for you especially when you're raising kids as a single mom um it can be very hard a lot of people think like oh girl you're just so strong no it's by the grace of God by the grace of God I don't take no credit for that at all because I'll be looking at people like okay um but it's important to have a man because you can pull on the strength of a man if they rely on God, I could pull on the strength from them in a different way. And it could come through emotional fulfillment and then sexual healing. It's, <laughs> it's a big thing for me. So I'm not about to be sitting up here lying and acting like it's not. Um, and then that way I can, you know, they also show that uh, people that are touched, you know, uh, like a caress or a holding or a hug, they um, live longer. They have better immune systems. So it's good for my health. Sex is good for my health, with one person, of course, okay, responsibly. And then being emotionally, emotional connection. Um, I don't want emotionally unavailable men that are afraid of their emotions. I do uh, want, you know, the wise, you know, man is comfortable.